putting pen to paper and writing by hand. Can you see it's getting smaller? People with Parkinson's know it's a skill too often taken for granted. My handwriting is it'd be very small and then it became increasingly difficult to read it. 61-year-old Jim Young was diagnosed with Parkinson's about four years ago, the disorder affecting his voice and handwriting. But a new device is giving him back the ability to write. What did you think when you first heard about something like this? I thought this is awesome. Young became an early tester of the Steady Scrib, a pen specifically created to help Parkinson's patients more easily write by hand. What does it mean to you to have something in your hand that you can write something as simple as your name? It's, it's very empowering. It enables me to be maintain my independence. Co-founders Izzy Mokotov and Alexis Chan, students at Northwestern University and sorority sisters, came up with the idea after Mokotov's grandfather was diagnosed with the disease, putting a stop to his tradition of sending weekly handwritten letters. He actually lost his ability to write, which was not only a functional loss for him, you know, going to the doctor's office, any sort of legal matters, writing grocery lists, solving the crossword, but also a loss of something he truly loved to do. Chan, a biomedical engineering student, put her studies and skills to work. Because everything's made on a 3D printer, it's computer animated design. The design seems simple, a magnetic clipboard with a few small magnets to hold the paper in place. And then there's the pen. We have the weighted core that facilitates intentional writing movement. And then finally, we have a wide, pliable, and triangular grip that allows people with manual rigidity to hold our pen with ease and comfort. Now that a manufacturer is on board, the Steady Scrib pen set could be in hands as soon as this summer. Nearly one million people in the U.S. are living with Parkinson's, only second to Alzheimer's as the most common neurogenerative disease. Mokotov's grandfather passed away last year, but not before he was able to test out an early version. We created something in his honor that could help not just him, but he had a real vision of this helping so many other people like himself. Other people like 78-year-old Sissy Lax, a lifelong writer and another steady script tester. It was really hard to write before, and now I can write so fast. It's just such a personal way of communicating. You didn't sit at a computer and you didn't use artificial intelligence. You actually wrote the thing. Getting a grip on Parkinson's with the power of a pen. And Valerie joins me now. Valerie, what a cool invention. Mm -hmm. Tell us, when will people be able to get their hands on this? Where can they buy one? So Izzy and Alexis are still working out the details, but they say it will cost less than $100 once it's available. They're working on getting pre-sales up and running on their website, SteadyScript.com, so people can hopefully purchase this before the summer. But something else they're doing is they're taking donations on the website right now for something called their Opportunity Fund. Mm. They're raising money so people who are in financial need can get these pens at a free or reduced cost. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.